Hello everyone, in this particular lecture, we are going to discuss the import and export column transformation in SSIS. So first of all, I'm going to give you an example of import column transformation. So let me just create a new package first. So let me just select the import column transformation. So I will select the data flow section, click this and toolbox. I'm going to select the import column transformation. Let me just click the import column transformation. So with the help of import column transformation, what can we do? So import column transformation reads data from files and adds it to columns in a data flow. So let me just give you an example here. So what files this import column transformation can read, it can read any file. It can read a text file, it can read an mp4 file, jpg, jpg file or a csv file. It can read any file, okay? So these three files will be read by import column transformation. It will store the data in, in a data flow. Output column of a data flow. So first of all, let me just use the read uh, read flat file source. Okay, flat file source. I have to configure this. So what I want, I want, I want to provide the names path. First of all, let me just create a text file here file names. In this text file, I'm going to save the path of these files. So the path of this particular file is you have to click shift button, then you have to right click copy as path, paste the path here. So this is going to be my first path employee.csv file then I'm going to save the path of this file shift press shift then right click copy as path so this is going to be my second path now I'm going to save my third path so this time around I'm going to get the path of this mp4 file copy as path Okay, now, so I have to save this file. So all paths have been defined in this path, in this particular file. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to configure this first step, new flat file manager, then I'm going to provide the path. I'm going to select this particular file, DSSIS, mm, let me just select the path here uh, import files this flat file okay columns column name in the first row no there is no column in my file preview so if there is no column uh, this ssis tool will automatically give this column column zero so these are the paths in my file click ok columns okay this one will be the output column you can name it data click ok this is configured next i'm going to use the import column transformation so i have to select the import column transformation here uh, this one then i have to combine this okay double click this input and output so this one is the input select this input input and output let me just select the input so this one is going to be the input and i have to define the output add column this is going to be the output data now i have to map this input to output in order to map the input to output, I have to provide the lineage ID. In this case, lineage ID is for this input column, lineage ID is uh, this. I have to provide the lineage ID of this. So lineage ID is 24. What about this? I have to manually provide the lineage ID. Now, 
this column and this column these two columns are mapped okay so what import column will do import column is going to store the information in the output column in this column okay it is going to store the information what information this uh, files this data employee.csv data uh, honza valley.jpg this image data and this mp4 data it is going to store here okay data type is image okay click ok next what i want after storing the information in the import column I want to load the data in my in my database so in order to load the data I have to use the OLE DB destination step find table name I have to create a table first of all I will create a table in order to create a table I will use this command create table database says dice i have to select the database file name varchar 500 data file is var binary max so click okay it has been created select star from this table select star from this table right now this table is empty okay fine let me just configure this table name is data table okay mappings file name okay source data and this one is the uh, file name the second one is going to be the data this one is going to be the data which i'm going to store here okay i'm going to store here now awesome so this has been configured now I'm going to execute my package so look it is so package has been successfully executed now execute this look this one is the data file which is stored in the form of war binary this one is the exact file path and the file name okay now i want to retrieve these three files so what i'm going to do first of all let me just delete these three files from my folder because i want to retrieve these three files from my database now in order to retrieve this data i'm going to use the uh, import not export column transformation now i'm going to use the import export column transformation so create a package this time around i'm going to use the export column so first of all i will use the data flow click this ssis tool i'm going to use the ole db source then i have to select the table first this one is going to be my table file name and data file these two are the attributes next i'm going to use the export column export column where is export column transformation i have to select export column double click extract column which column you want to extract i want to extract the data file file path column this one this one is the file path so this is going to be the file path and this is going to be the data this one is the data and this one is the file path okay so maximize this allow append force truncate write byte order okay these two i'm going to select these two the reason i'm not selecting this because data is already truncated i'm not checking this option because data is already truncated now i have to save this package 08 is my is the name of my package simply execute the package you will see data in in the folder look data has been exported using the export column transformation so from this table basically from this table i have exported the data look these three files have been exported let me just uh, 
open this file all okay so this is going to be the file image jpg file which is which has been uh, exported this is the uh, mp4 file so hope you understood the concept of import column transformation and export column transformation in in ssis thank you so much and have a great learning